guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. In this pick a card reading, we're going to be figuring out who is coming towards you. But before we go ahead and hop right in, my name is Jess. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I do offer private readings and I do have a website up now, so it will be a lot much easier for you guys to order one with me. So go ahead and check it out, um, but let's get started. Four groups prepared for you guys, starting with pile one, two, three, and four. And let's get started on one. Okay, hello pile one. Let's go ahead and hop right in and see who is um, coming towards you. So we have the Sacred Ohm as well as Rebirth. So. Um, right off the bat, I'm getting a Sagittarius could be coming towards you, and I feel like there was something that didn't get off the ground here, okay? Maybe someone was acting in a weird way that you didn't like, or that um, just something happened between you guys. And with the Judgment card here, um, for some of you, this could be, you know, a serious talk. This could be business. This could just be, you know, someone, maybe there was a friend that postponed something with you, like coffee, and now they're going to come back here okay um, for others of you this person is coming back for you to make a final judgment call on um, this person could be a bit judgmental this person could have a hard time coming into their power at this time and they're having a hard time letting go this person could be a bit egotistical as well as what I want to say and it's like they're they're coming for you for help okay they feel like you can help them in some sort of way, group one, with the sacred ohm. I'm going to read this really quick. Yeah, they're, they're looking at you for help during this time, maybe because they're having a hard time bouncing back from a situation. Maybe something between you guys once again here, okay? So a strong Sagittarius could be a Pisces as well. Caring connections reversed, yes. So this is someone that um, maybe you guys split up, maybe you guys broke up. Um, this could also be family as well, but with door to value, someone did not feel valued. Someone probably did not see the other person as someone valuable in their life. But with the sacred ohm here, I feel like if this, this could be you or the other person, this is someone who has a lot to offer at this time. This person on the sacred ohm is like carrying a bunch of flowers and she's like offering it to someone. So um, I'm just getting here that they see you as help. They see you as someone who has gone through a lot. Okay. And that you could probably give them advice of some sorts here. But there was some kind of something that happened between you guys with caring connections in the reverse so again a breakup a split up or maybe just a disagreement between friends or just you know if this person was trying to talk to you maybe just things didn't fly we have yin so this person may take their time coming towards you uh group one so i want to say be receptive with this person um if they're doing something that pisses you off then it's like you know what to do right i will I want to say lashing out is not the best um, situ situation here, but to maybe hear this person out, to be receptive to them, and just try to stay calm in the situation. We have happy, happy in the reverse, so this person may miss you, okay? They're, they're kind of not happy with how things turned out with you. But pile one, I'm getting here, this could be a person who is having a hard time just making connections in general here, okay? And once again, this could be family, co-workers. We have the emperor in the reverse, so this could be a father figure. This could be um, a boss. This could be an Aries or a Taurus. I'm getting Scorpio as well. Um, or just someone who is a bit controlling, okay? They may not have a lot of things going for themselves, but they may just be trying to control other people or control you at this time, okay? This person...
person may want some power over you or they just feel powerless at this time. But I really don't like to see the emperor in the reverse because this is someone who misuses their power, right? We have the world card, so um, things have ended between you guys or just the situation when they come back, group one. Um, things are going to end between you guys, okay? And one thing that I am seeing here as well with the world card, this lady, you could be a man as well, is glowing here. So they're kind of looking at you um, as a great option. They're looking at you as someone who is moving on at this time, okay? And they may want to try to control that for some of you, okay? For others of you, this person wants to make amends. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, so maybe there was a business deal that got cut off here, maybe something to do with money, maybe an offer was rejected here, is what I'm getting. And I'm getting just one person here wants to end things, okay? The full card so we have a strong Aries who may be coming back from the past here okay um, but with the full card this person definitely wants to take a chance on you this person is someone funny or this could be someone who came at you a, a bit foolish here okay but they are going to come back towards you okay it may be in a light-hearted fun way to where you guys maybe they come in with a joke they come in with a meme or something, or this person could be traveling to come see you, okay? But I'm getting here that they kind of just want to drop all the past stuff. We have a Leo, a strong Leo, so I'm getting all three of the fire signs here who may be coming back to you guys, okay? But they want to strengthen this connection. Three of Cups reversed. So there may have been some sort of third party situation that happened between you guys. Or once again, it's just like maybe you guys were friends and you guys just could not see eye to eye with one another. Um, due to some disagreements, maybe a friend wanted to take things to the next level. Something was rejected here. And for some of you, I'm getting like a business deal. Okay, but with the full card, if this is you... Group one, I'm seeing you're kind of just like not even worried about this person. You're kind of just like, okay, fine with just ending things. Three of wands reverse. So they see you as someone who's just not waiting around anymore. Someone, wow, we have the six of wands. I wanted to pull this from the bottom. So they see you as someone popular, someone cool, someone who is kind of just off doing their own thing and they like your energy they like the attention that you get they see you in a good light group one okay but they kind of see you as miss or mr independent here king of cups so this person has a lot of deep emotions for you at this time this could be a cancer pisces scorpio male who may be coming towards you but group one this person is going to move very very slow okay with the knight of pentacles here if this is your energy with the king of cups male or female well um they're coming back because they see you as someone very compassionate who could see from their side here someone very loving as well if this is another person with the king of cups this person is a water sign yes very loving um very kind and i'm just getting a very gentle slow energy with them okay so this person's gonna take their time we have a strong aries here as well two of cups so this could be a friend there's multiple people here group one that are coming back towards you um but i'm seeing a love offer once again maybe this is a friend with the two of cups to where um you may reconcile with this person, share a great laugh, share a great talk here. Um, but this person does have deep love for you here. This person is genuine. This is someone who truly does um, care about you and they're going to give you reciprocal energy, okay? They're going to take a chance on you for some of you. And the hangman, so yes, there's a strong Pisces male here and they're kind of stuck in regards to maybe there was some things that happened between you guys does not have to be a pisces but there is a strong pisces male and they're kind of stuck not knowing what to do 
We do have the world card at the end, so for some of you, you guys may come back together and they may just come to the conclusion that they may want to sacrifice this relationship or they just know that nothing else is going to come from it, so they're just trying to let go with grace and with love here, okay? So group one, I feel like the advice too with these people is to handle them with love, okay? Um, so group one, leave a little um, teardrop emoji if this resonated, if you guys made it this far. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we're going to move on to group two now. Okay, hello group two, welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and see who is coming towards you, yes. So, how cute. We have the Princess of Cups as well as Individuality. So right off the bat, there is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Who is coming towards you now? I'm getting a few different things here, group two. This person may come with an apology. They may come to um, talk with you through social media maybe invite you out to coffee or just really compliment you here but this person is definitely um someone who is very shy someone who's quite reserved and the thing that i'm getting here group two is that this person does not let a lot of people in okay if there's someone that is on their mind someone that they're really interested in then they will go after them here okay so i feel like this person is definitely very protective of themselves and um they're gonna make a move on you okay so they're coming in to say hi this could be a younger female could be a male as well maybe someone younger than you excuse me and please excuse the noise in the background with individuality here this could be i always get kind of aquarius vibes could be a libra gemini but this is definitely someone who uh, is quite independent, okay? Once again, very reserved energy. This could be someone who may be a bit spiritual, but I'm getting more of an energy. They do like to dive in their hobbies, the things that they like to do here, okay? Um, this person just could be wanting to be friends, or once again, this could already be a friend, um, an apology, what have you here. But they could just be into you, group two, because they like your independence, they like your individuality here. The third eye chakra in the reverse. And we have deceit in the reverse. Ooh, so for a lot of you, this is an apology coming from this person here. Maybe there was something that you found out, something that was exposed here. And they could see you having all your barriers up, you have you know you're just being very protective of your energy and this person um with the third eye chakra in the reverse they're having a hard time maybe seeing how still seeing how they were wrong or having a hard time um predicting how to fix things okay maybe they want to repair things with you and their third eye is blocked in regards to maybe maybe just some things in their life that they don't really have a grip on okay but they want to heal things with you and they find you very attractive group two okay so let's go ahead and pull another card so we have higher power Please excuse the noise in the background. Uh, higher power. So group two, what I'm getting here, when this person does come back, I feel like you are going to need to tap into your higher power at this time. Wow, deep knowing. So for a lot of you guys, um, your intuition is screaming at you in regards to um, making the right decision for this connection, okay? If they're not giving you what they want, if they already showed you how they are here or what they wanted then it's up for you to uh, make the right decision okay so really ask your guides or just trust your instincts at this time okay this person does know what they did maybe they have apolo apologized already and maybe they're just wanting to come back in but it's up to you group two okay so let's see what wants to come out for you guys Wow, group three, we have 
the seven of swords in the reverse so yes this is definitely someone who has manipulated you they have lied to you or maybe you just found out the truth from them from a friend or just an epiphany that you had okay so beware of this person here i feel like your judgment might be clouded a little bit for a lot of you your intuition is popping it's on point so trust it okay the empress in the reverse so this could be a libra taurus this could be a mother figure as well um does not have to be a libra or a taurus but this is someone who may have um put you in a place to where they kind of devalued you or you just felt this about yourself here um this could be someone who you are holding their child maybe you have their child here you are the mother of their child excuse me for my males could be females too um doesn't matter the sex but with the empress in the reverse this could be someone who doesn't really protect their body this could be someone who um you know is in a position to where they misuse their power does it really take care of their body we do have the sun card here so there was some clarity that came through i feel like this person wants to bring you food take you out for dinner or a date what have you but with the sun card you are enlightened about the situation there's a lot that's being shown in the light group two okay And um, you guys might meet like at a family picnic or um, there's just going to be some kind of party or event or get together to where they may approach you for some of you. Six of Pentacles, yeah, there's going to be some event where you guys meet, okay? And with the Six of Pentacles, you're going to be quite, like you don't know whether or not you should give your time and energy to this person. I see you guys kind of going back and forth. This person may have had options as well, and for some of you, they may ask you for money or they may ask you for something, okay? So use your better judgment here. Six of Wands. So yes, they see you as victory group too, okay? They see you as someone who, they are very much interested here, okay? You guys could, um be in the public eye um just the way that you handled this situation too was that you came out victorious but they are definitely seeing you in high regards they do see or put you on a high pedestal here group two and um people like what they can't have right but the six of wands to the sun it's like overall they see you as a really great person they see you as very bright very cheerful very much in the spotlight or just very adored about around the people around you so we have the four of cups in the reverse so you may have rejected this person's offer or they rejected you here with the four of cups reverse also what i want to say with the four of cups group two is to not just take up any offer okay just because you're bored or you're lonely or it's because it's all that you have okay so be aware of that the five of cups so this person may try to seem very happy and playful and cheerful but i'm really getting this person's really upset they're really sad okay they are starting to realize now how they went wrong they're starting to realize that they lost you okay so this person's a bit sad a bit depressed here ten of pentacles so yeah someone here wants to end something i feel like they're starting to realize that things are completely done between you guys and that's why they want to come back they want to regain victory here with the six of wands with you all right so we have a strong mom or a strong libra taurus okay or a baby mama the King of Wands, so we have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting Aries, Leo, but this this could be another person as well. This could be the same person, but with the King of Wands, they're playing to win, okay? 
they want to win you over. Um, they're gonna come in very hot, okay, with the King of Wands here. This could also be someone who is um, very popular in their group. This could be someone who, you know, is a bit entrepreneurial or they're just um, very popular or they could see you like this, okay? So five of wands, there's a lot of competition. They're quite, uh, they want to go after you, okay? <laughs> so group two, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a little diamond emoji if this resonated, if you guys made it this far and we're going to move on to group three now. Okay, hello group three, we made it, so let's go ahead and see who is coming towards you and um, why. So we have true leaders as well as the sun card in the reverse. Okay, so we have a strong Leo here. But what I'm getting here um, with true leaders and the sun card in the reverse, I'm getting who is coming towards you and why is someone who's starting to notice maybe how they played their part with you maybe there were some harsh truths that they came about the situation about themselves here maybe um you know they realized they were a bit childish what have you okay so they're kind of just looking at you or wanting to come back for your forgiveness at this time and because whenever i get the sun card in the reverse this to me is finding out about some harsh truths here So yes, a strong Leo, maybe something to do with a kid. Um, but with the Sun card in the reverse, if this is a person that I'm getting, this could be someone who is a bit melodramatic, someone who could struggle with depression a bit here, okay? Maybe it's like they could always be posting like some um, memes that are about, you know, funny but also kind of depressing. I forget what those memes are called. Um, but someone who could be quite fun to be around, but there is just still some melancholy nature to them here, okay? And with true leaders, they could be looking at you to where they see you as help. They see you as someone with great integrity, someone who is a great friend, just a great person to be around, okay? So however this is fitting for you at this time. So we have door to personal healing and happiness in the reverse so yes this person feels like you could heal them at this time or maybe there was just some things that need healing in this relationship okay we have anxiety in the reverse so they were really thinking about you okay and they want to come back just to find common ground to release this anxiety that they did have about you about the situation here and um, maybe they were asking other friends for help, maybe asking for their um, point of view, maybe family members here. And um, they're starting to realize maybe what's going on with them or just, you know, maybe how things fell apart here. But they feel like there's still some door to personal healing and happiness. This is someone who is struggling with depression. They are struggling. Um, walking through this door maybe they are going through some difficulties at this time maybe they are going to therapy with true leaders there's one person teaching another person here so let's see what wants to come out group three so we have flexible in the reverse so this could be someone who's quite rigid this is someone who could um not be super flexible with the people around them and with regeneration this is my death card this is something maybe with them that uh they have past patterns and difficulties in regards to learning this lesson so it's like this person is kind of difficult to maybe you guys always have some sort of like fallout or just some disagreements here and I feel like it's due to this person just not really being flexible with um, their decision, you know, once they're focused on something. Or maybe they could see you this way, okay? But they're asking for help at this time. Maybe they're asking for your help or just to make amends once again. But with regeneration in the reverse, 
there's something in this connection that needs changing, okay? And I feel like this person may take a bit of a while to come towards you here because they're still a bit stubborn in regards to um, their decision or their approach, what have you here. But we do have blessed, so I feel like this person does mean good. Um, they could see you this way as blessed to where you are a good person, you are overall a good friend. Okay, so let's see what else wants to come out for you guys. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh. So there's a lot of karma playing out here, okay? They could see you at this time, Group 3. Maybe good karma is playing out on your favor. Alright, but I do sense that this connection may um, change with the Wheel of Fortune, alright? Um, and I feel like you guys are going to grow together. You guys are going to um, just go through this change, okay? And with the lovers in the reverse, could be a Gemini, Sagittarius here. Maybe not together, okay? Maybe you guys just end up drifting apart or you guys just come to some equal common ground here. But I feel like why they are coming towards you with the Wheel of Fortune is they're seeing you kind of just um, take these changes. You are just going through them with like no hassle, no harm. Just accepting them here, okay? They could see good luck, good fortune coming in your favor at this time. Strength, so we have a strong Leo. Okay, they wanna make things healthy again. They wanna strengthen this connection. You could be a Leo and they're kinda seeing you in a very healthy light. Um, they see you as very healthy, okay? But I'm just getting they want to strengthen this connection. Excuse me, I know I said that. And just really maybe have some deep, heartfelt talks with you at this time. But what I'm getting here is that they're definitely seeing you unbothered, Group 3, okay? They're seeing you so unbothered, um, just doing your own thing. Three of Wands reverse. so yes, I feel like this person is not expecting anything from you. Or this could be how they are seeing you. And they're seeing you also just not waiting for them, not expecting, excuse me. Yeah, someone here is not waiting anymore. So let's go ahead and pull some more cards. We have the Sun card in the reverse, so a strong Leo. I feel like there's a Leo who's coming towards you that is struggling with depression. This is someone who is coming through some harsh realizations, maybe about this connection once again, or about them, maybe about you here. But um, they're going through it right now, and they could just need your help, need your guidance, need your support at this time. Group three, okay. So ex-lover, friend, family. And I feel like with the strength card, they could see you as someone who is just really trying to handle this situation the best way that they can. And I feel like this person, when they do come back, they're going to try to handle this situation the best way that they can, okay? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So yes, I don't really see them offering you anything, okay? Anything to build upon, anything to grow or make out of this. So maybe just like a, hey, what's up, maybe following each other, maybe, um, you know, an apology or some sorts here, or maybe they are coming with some truth, okay? So let's pull a few more cards here for you guys. So we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Yes, this person is having a hard time um, walking away. I feel like this is something that is still very much in their mind, in their heart. Excuse me, it's messing with their emotions right now. And with the Eight of Cups, this is a very hard and difficult card because it's knowing there was so many emotions involved 
so much time and energy that was involved here that, you know, when something happened between you guys with the Ten of Swords, it may have really hurt this person or it may have really hurted you, okay? So it's like they kind of want to come back and maybe figure out what happened or just try to, you know, squash any beef that happened between you guys, okay? But yeah, this person is not completely walking away. They are coming back. Five of Pentacles, so they feel left out in the cold by you. This person could be going through some financial issues as well. Just their sense of self-worth is um, being tested at this time. It's being dampened at this time. Okay. So they're kind of like needing you for support. The Magician in the Reverse. So this person may have been a bit manipulative, you know, the sun card reversed, rooted down by the magician reversed. Could be a Gemini as well who is coming towards you here. But this person with the magician reversed, they're having a hard time having the confidence to manifest things in their life, okay? They're having a hard time coming into their power with judgment. Um, this person could be a bit judgmental as well to you. So I'm getting, there's, there could be two people here coming to you. I want to say watch out for the Gemini. Queen of Swords in the reverse. So we have an air sign female, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. This could be someone who is a bit pissed off at you. They could be playing victim at this point or they think that you are at this time, therefore you know, them not offering you something or you not offering them something here, okay? But there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of hurt going on. Therefore, people just can't really um, find the right thing to do or how to approach this here. We do have the devil Capricorn, so there could be some toxic connections here happening to where, um, you know, maybe it is so hard to find forgiveness and common ground here with the devil, okay? There's some kind of attachments, alcohol, drugs, what have you. Leave a little fire emoji if this resonated, guys. If you guys made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching. And we're going to move on to group four now. Hey, group four, welcome to your reading. We finally made it. So let's go ahead and check out who is coming towards you. So we have the... Nine of Cups reversed as well as offerings of devotion here. So right off the bat, this could be um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They do not have to be. But whenever I get the Nine of Cups reversed, I associate this card with someone who may have a bit of a drinking problem. They could be a bit depressed at this time. They could just be a bit unfortunate right now. Or maybe there was some a situation that happened between you guys to where um, it resulted in them being unhappy. Maybe they wanted to take you out. This could be someone who has a crush on you, someone who wanted a business deal with you. Um, whatever it is here, they're, they're coming towards you a bit unhappy here. With offerings of devotion, once again, this person may have offered you something or they could see you as someone who is very giving and loving. But something just did not turn out in their favor here. This person um, could misuse drugs, could abuse them. I'm going to read this card a little bit. Yeah, I feel like this person did offer something to you or just did something to where they're regretting it now, okay? So... We have um, Door to Romance. So this person could have offered you some kind of love offer. Um, this person very much likes you, group four, okay? This is a love interest here. They see you as someone very romantic, someone very sexy, someone who has their heart guarded here, okay? Someone who very much does. And they see you as someone with high values, someone who... Um, you know, likes to do the dates first and just build their way up in a relationship here. So they see you as very loving. 
someone who, you know, doesn't really wear their heart on their sleeve, once again, you could have turned down this person. But I feel like they're coming in to try again, okay? Yeah, we have this thinking man, could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini male. They do not have to be a male or this suit, but I feel like they're trying to, like, figure out how to get to you. They're trying to figure out, okay, this approach didn't work, so now, um, what is this? Um, for some of you, this person may want to marry you. This guy's holding a diamond, so I'm getting, like, diamond ring. Um, this person may want to give you a gift of some sorts here, but for a lot of you, this could be one person trying to get to you, or this could be another person here with the thinking man. This could be someone who um, is in business, very good with business. Um, just a, a male here who is quite strict. Someone who is very smart as well could be great help. Okay, so let's pull a few more cards here, group four. So we have to be fair in the reverse, so this could be a Libra. We have unfinished symphony, so they feel like things were unfair. They feel like you weren't really giving them back an equal amount here. Maybe you guys went through a divorce of some sort, but with Unfinished Symphony, they are really obsessing over this. They are kind of just replaying this back in their heads. They're very depressed. They can't get over you. They can't get over the situation. And I'm getting here, there's like a piano. So I'm getting they could just be playing, you know, songs that remind them of you. Uh, just replaying back memories of things. Okay, so I want to say they're a bit of a fool for you. They see you as a soulmate and was blessed. They see you as someone, a, a blessing to them. Someone who is quite innocent, very loving here. Yeah, they're definitely coming through with an offer to clean things up with you. Okay, group four. So let's pull a few more cards here for you guys. Let's pull this one. So we have the Queen of Cups. Ooh, so this could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio female who is coming towards you. This person definitely um, is in love with you. This is someone very loving, someone compassionate, someone who's not afraid to express themselves, uh, their love to you at this time, okay? Um, if this is your energy with the Queen of Cups, they definitely do see you as someone gentle, kind, understanding here. And it's kind of like they're coming back because they think they could have another chance with you or they know that you guys could at least find some kind of common ground. Eight of Wands reversed. So someone may have blocked the other person or maybe just things did not get off the ground here. I'm also getting there could be a bit of jealousy as well with the Eight of Wands. Okay. I'm also getting miscommunication. But something is not manifesting the way somebody wants it to. And they feel blocked at this time. They feel like they can't um, break free from this. Eight of Pentacles. So this person's really going to come in to try to work things out with you. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles, they could also see you as someone who is working on yourself at this time. You could just be very much focused on your crafts, your money, your hobbies, your work, and just, you know, working on yourself. If this is this person, they really want to put in the work, okay, Group 4? They really do. Six of Pentacles reversed, so there could have been some sort of like third party situation that happened between you guys. Um, one person does not want the other person's attention anymore. Um, okay, but I'm just getting with To Be Fair and the Six of Pentacles, these cards very much do talk about balance. So it's like they're, they're definitely feeling out of it right now. And they're confused, they're a bit jealous, they're a bit aggravated at this. They feel like things are unfair. 
and they feel like they have to get your attention. Okay. The chariot. So this could be a cancer who could be coming towards you. This could be a cancer female, okay? Um, but they definitely see you as victorious. They see you as someone who um, is achieving the things, going after the things that you want. We have it right next to the Eight of Pentacles. So they definitely see you working on your goals. They see you as victory. They see you as a winner. They see you as someone who's very driven and motivated and just, um, they, they see you in a really good light, okay, group four? They could like your vehicle as well, or this person is coming, uh, traveling to come see you. But they see you as it, they see you as victory, that's why they are so focused on coming to you here. But with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, I do see an offer being turned down, okay? So let's go ahead and pull a few more cards here. Okay, group four, so let's pull a few cards here. Let's pull this one. So we have judgment. This person is definitely coming back, group four. Now the thing with judgment here is you guys are being brought back together to make a final judgment call, okay? I feel like when they come back to, for some of you, this may be the last time. And I see you kind of coming out victorious in this, or this person just may want to one-up you, for some of you. But for others of you, this is a Sagittarius, this is a Pisces here, who, um, they're coming in pretty hot. They could definitely be, um, wanting to give you a piece of their mind for some of you. Maybe they felt like before they couldn't express themselves freely to you, and now they are going to here. But this person maybe sees you coming into your power at this time. Four of Swords reverse. So this could have been could have been someone that you slept with group four. If not, then I'm getting, you know, right next to the nine of cups. They're definitely having a hard time gaining clarity on this situation, gaining a peace of mind from this here because they're very um upset about it they could be having sleepless nights about you here but they're very unhappy with the situation six of one you know with the chariot here so they see you as it they see you as someone popular someone who is cool someone who could be in the public eye here but it's like you're very popular they see you as it, they see you as well accomplished here, going after your goals. And it's kind of like they, once again, eight of wands reverse, they could be quite jealous of that, okay? Um, yeah, that is what I'm getting here. And you could be moving on, just wanting to end things here. Emperor in the reverse, so this could be an Aries, an Aries Taurus, okay? But they see the way that you handle people is very great and, um, you know, with them showing up in the reverse, it's kind of like they're realizing how they were a bit unstable, how they weren't being respectful or how they were being controlling in some kind of way. But with the Seven of Pentacles reverse, someone here just does not want to give it time, energy, or efforts here, okay? So this could be a father figure as well who is coming towards you, maybe in regards to money. Or this could be a boss, this could be Aries Taurus once again. They are showing up in the reverse though, so beware of them. But they see you in a good light, they see you winning, they see you accomplishing things, and um, leveling up. So group four, leave a little diamond emoji if this resonated, if you guys made it this far, if you guys liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next pick a card. Bye.